Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review. Barman, 1873 bourbon. There are. Blend of straight bourbon whiskey. Limited release. Uh, according to the label here, 92 proof, 46% alcohol by volume, 750 ml bottle. Uh, in gold on yellow. Packaging people, packaging. I mentioned a lot of on my reviews here. Uh, honored heritage, inspiring legacy. Let's make it worth reading. Um, distilled from grain and malt. Bardstown, Kentucky. Coors Whiskey Company. Hmm. Well, five generations. Interesting. So. Like the lion in rampant. That's nice. Nice feel to the label. In case you guys are, are new, um, I have a background in publishing and whatnot. So, label is always important to me. Presentation of the product is important to me. And it's as nice as plain. What made this stand out so much on the shelf is the other labels and bottles that are out there. The simplicity of the bottle almost looks like a wine bottle, save for the top, but still, like I said, almost looks like a wine bottle, but the blue with the yellow stand out quite well. The rampant lion gives it a sophistication. It's nice. The problem is you guys have a metallic gold ink on, it's like, like an egg. Just a more, I guess, more yellow than egg uh, type of label. And it makes it difficult to see. They almost completely wash out. And I can see by the glare, it does wash out. So, I know my opinion doesn't mean anything to anybody out there, especially when it comes to packaging. But, guys, pay attention to your ink. It's important. There is a band across the top, and it's nice. It is a wood top to it, but a plastic. I love that. A plastic cork. Why is this important? All cork, most expensive. Partial cork, like ground has been glued. Middle, plastic, cheapest. At least it is a wooden rather than plastic. But at this point in time, you should use the plastic. Very cheaped out on the uh, the cork part itself. All right. And this is what we have. It is a nice caramel color with yellow hues in it. Give it a swirl. It is slow to tear. It looks like when it will, it will. If that makes any sense. But nice all in all. <coughs> wow. Lemon, oranges, and stabs you right in the senses. What is this thing? Because man, that's this is a trait of a young, a youngin. Does it say? Does it say? No, it does not say. We're pretty meet the bare minimum years out to be a bourbon. And of course, I cannot remember what that is. Whether it's my four year, less than that. Somebody out there, I'm sure, I know to drop the top of their hat what it is. I know that it's the number is small. How's that? I doubt more than four. <coughs> I'm almost inclined to say two. But yeah, four. Probably wrong. 
<coughs> caramel in the background. But it wants to stab you. Stab you good. Not a bad nose, just a young, youthful nose. And on the palate, it is young. It is youthful. It is tasty. But it is young. It is youthful. It stabs. It burns. It slices. It dices. Not much of a tongue afterwards. It's got a hang time that will not stop. Yeah, once once it's on your palate, it does want to go. And at the very end, it's that ethanol of the alcohol. That, that burnt rubber taste starts to come out. <coughs> yeah, I was rooting around. <coughs> Sorry guys, but <coughs> it is. She's youthful and stabs you multiple times. I was rooting around trying to find something a bit more on the cheaper. I've been slowly sliding into the 40s for my price range. That's that's creeping up there. I usually hang around the 2030s, so I went back, grabbed a low 30, 30 dollar in my area and this, this was one of many that I had found and the problem is is that trying to find a good smooth soft tasty whiskey bourbon sorry at that price point it gets difficult to find uh, at this price point they tend to be very stabby very burning, very, you know, this youthful vigor for a bourbon. And this is of no exception. Rampant lion or not. Now, with that in mind, I would say it desperately needs an ice cube. Why that point of phrase? Desperately needing and with hesitation. It is because ice cold in general dims down your senses. Uh, what you get off the nose is over 70% of what your taste takes. You put in an ice cube that dims it all down. Well, the sharp edges, the sharp knives of this guy and that bit of fire that it comes with desperately needs some taming. So putting this in with an ice cube, not just one ice cube, depending on how big your glass is, I guess. But yeah, to help take take the edge off, try to try to declaw this cat, and good luck with that. But an ice cube just might do it. In the meantime. I would have to say this would probably go well with a cocktail of sorts. I do appreciate a bourbon that's just a standalone. And this guy, even though it does have wonderful taste of lemon, wonderful taste of orange, caramel, just cozying it up in the back, all that greatness, and a long hang time, that as long as you ignore that ethanol taste, it's actually kind of pleasant. But that ethanol needs a friend to counterbalance, such as sugar, such as any other flavors that a cola might present to it to help balance it out. This is an okay bourbon, but it definitely needs others to play with. Like I said, a cocktail, something along that line. And I believe it will go very well in that kind of domain. But on its own, it's rowdy. Give it a try. See what you think. It's not bad. It's just rowdy. And that may be a, a thing for you. It may not. It's like I said, I'm just one guy in the middle of nowhere. 
And that's just what I'm coming across when I try this Barman 1873 bourbon. A blend of straight bourbon whiskey. I said, give it a try, see what you guys think. I think it's not a good standalone sipper, but it is a it would make a good cocktail bourbon. Any comments down with warm acceptance as always. Some of you out there may think I'm totally wrong. Let's hear. Some of you out there may think I'm right. I would love to hear it. <laughs> but um yeah, uh, it's uh it is a rowdy child in a glass. But let's see what you guys have to think. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it, and do a review. Let the rest of us in the, in the YouTube Spirits community know your thoughts about Barman 1873 Bourbon. And see what you guys think. You guys may find it to be gold in a glass. I find it to be a rowdy child with a black eye. But give it a try. Let me know. Until next time, keep on drinking.